testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This has been a round of a century. I am not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, Tank Davis, uh, we did the show yesterday. Please go check out yesterday's show um, Tank, on, on, on uh, my post-fight immediate reaction. Uh, but we're going to get into today's show. Um, we're going to react to the reaction. Uh, the boxing world goes crazy again. Uh, we're going to get into all that. Uh, but before we do, please like, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Our quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also, uh, please follow us on all forms of social media: 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, uh, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery, so it's very near and dear to our heart. So please like, share, and subscribe to that channel as well. All right, let's get into this Tank Davis thing. So. Excellent performance from Tank Davis. To me, Tank Davis did what he was supposed to do. He's another level from Ryan Garcia. He's a much better fighter than Ryan Garcia, and he did what he was supposed to do. So if you had Tank Davis, which most of you did not, on your pound-for-pound list, he should stay where he is. If you had him at 10, he should stay at 10. If you had him at 6, he should stay at 6. I don't think anyone in the world had him higher than that. Um. I, I just know, like, everyone all of a sudden now is going to like, rah, rah, rah. Uh, he's going to have him five, two, three. Okay, uh, I'm going to get into this in a second. If you did not have him on your pound-for-pound pound list on Friday, he should not be on your pound-for-pound pound list today. Not, not, not much. Not much has changed, pal. Like, he beat Ryan Garcia. No, no shade at Ryan Garcia. He's a good fighter. He's never been a world champion. He's never beaten a real world champion. Don't give me Javier Fortuna. That was a... Uh, that would be a regular. So we're not going to do that. He's never his best win is Luke Campbell. He doesn't really ha have anything spe spectacular besides that. Um, and I mean, <laughs> it's Ryan. He's an unproven prospect. I understand he's a star in the sport. Teenage girls love him. He's got a fan base. He sold fifteen thousand in the Alamo Dome. I was there. I covered the fight on press row. It was a spectacular event. Uh. That being said, being a star doesn't make you a pound-for-pound pound fighter. Ryan Garcia is not a pound-for-pound pound fighter. Obviously, he's not even close. You can make a list of 50 pound-for-pound pound fighters. He wouldn't be on the list of top 50. So beating a guy who's not in the pound-for-pound pound top 50 certainly does not make you a pound-for-pound pound top 10 fighter if you were not already a top 10 pound-for-pound pound fighter, which no one had tank in for the most part. I understand there may be some people who had him at 9 or 10, but the vast, vast majority of people had him didn't have him in the top 10. Probably just on the outside, 12 to 15, you know, if you extended your list like that. Um, if you don't have Stephen Fulton ahead of Tank Davis, your list is bad. If you don't have Shakur Stevenson or Devin Haney on your list ahead of Tank Davis, your list is bad. Now, that doesn't mean that um, Tank Davis can't beat those guys. Um, that are names, like Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney. But they've done more to, to, to deserve it. Uh, look. I said I didn't understand. I did not understand the hype that this fight was getting. I said this. You can go back. You can listen to this channel. You can listen to my podcast with uh, Matt the Hipster Hunter on MCR uh, on Mixed Combat Radio. You can listen to that podcast. I said this is not a mega fight. I said it's going to do three to four hundred thousand pay per view buys. Which I mean that number's not in yet, but we will we will see. That's one. Number two is. Um, it, you've got a prospect as the B side, an unproven prospect as the B side, and in the in the A side, you have a guy who's not a pound for pound top ten guy. I said that right, who, and in a non title fight with a guy who's not a world, you got a non world champion, non pound for pound top ten guy as your A side, and an unproven prospect as your B side. How is that a mega fight? On what planet do we live in where that's a mega fight? Right, Ryan Garcia would really have had to have proved shown best improvement to win a fight with, 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 with Tank. I interviewed probably 25 people, asked them that question. None of them picked Ryan. 
Everyone's like, oh, it's a good fight tank, right? Like, I, I understand. I, I, and, and now I'm getting this reaction, and, and the reaction is weird. Tank Davis, uh, Ryan Garcia is trash. He's no good. He's a bum. Uh, Mario Barrios is better than him. Um, who else? Isak Cruz is better than him. Yes, Mario Barrios and Isak Cruz are better. They're better than Ryan Garcia. They've always been better. There's never been a day in Ryan Garcia's life where he's better than Mario Barrios or Isak Cruz. Ever. Not once. Not never. There's not been a day in Ryan Garcia's life where he could beat either one of those fighters. So like when you say that, yes, Mario Barrios and Isak Cruz are better. They're much better than Ryan Garcia. Why? Because he's not proven anything. Like you're telling me at 140, you don't think Mario Barrios would stop Luke Campbell? Isaac Cruz wouldn't stop him? These guys would destroy Luke Campbell. And Luke Campbell's not a bomb. Luke Campbell's not trash. Luke Campbell's a good fighter, but he is what he is. Right? That's his best win. So this was never a mega fight. So, so Ryan Garcia is a bum who's no good. But Tank, who beat the bum, who's no good, is now pound for pound, the GOAT, he's special, he's different, he's next level, he's the greatest thing we ever saw, and he's the face of boxing. Because he beat the guy who's no good. This is how insane boxing, Twitter, and the boxing community go. They're so emotional and so unhinged. They're so irrational. Like, they're so it's married, stuck in the moment. Right, they're so stuck in the moment. Right, Ryan Garcia is trash. He's no good. Tank Garcia, a uh, tank beats Garcia, and then he instantly jumps to the head of the line, and he's the face of boxing. I've got news for you. Tank Davis is an exceptional fighter. He's one of my favorite fighters to watch. I think he can be anyone at 135, but that's yet to be proven. Call up your local sports radio show right now. Call them up. I don't care where you live. I can be in your call up WFN, whatever. Right, call them up right now. Say hey. Do you think Tank Davis is a top five pound for pound fighter? And they'll hang up on you because they don't know what the heck you're talking about. They ask you what sport you're talking about. I promise you, right? 300. I understand that this fight was money in the boxing community. I understand that. I get it. And hardcore sports fan, you know, when I was 20 years old, nothing to do, watch sports all day, like when I was in college. I understand. They may have seen this fight too because it got some coverage. Okay. Talk to your casual sports fan. The guy that, you know, calling your local sports. Radio radio talk show. We're calling Sirius XM. Call it Mad Dog Sports, right? Chris Russo covers sports all day. Ask him about Tank Davis. He will look at you like you get 10 heads. He's not a star. He's a star in our world. We live in a bubble. Y'all understand that we live in a bubble, right? You go outside and you ask the rest of the world, who is David Morrell? They're going to look at you like you got 12 heads. You ask him who Rockamoff is or Joe Gordina, they're going to look at you like, what are you talking about? What language are you even speaking? We live in a bubble. He's a star in our bubble. He's one of the best fighters in our sport. Our sport doesn't get no love. Y- y'all need to understand that. Outside of our, and this is why it's important to build a community within the community. Right? <laughs> um, our sport's the best sport in the face of the earth. So we need to, we need to build it, right? And we need to help grow it internally. Um, but yeah, look, I, I'm gonna promise you right now, Canelo Alvarez versus random outmatched white guy will do far more, maybe twice as many pay-per-view buys. Canelo versus random white guy, random outmatched white guy will do more pay-per-views, maybe twice as much as this fight did. My guess for this fight is 350, 375. I, I don't think Canelo will get to double that, but it's gonna get close to double that. My, my guess for Canelo versus John Ryder is 6650. Right, so you're almost double. Not quite. I, I, I get the math majors out there, uh, and, and and the reaction to the boxing from the boxing community is just insane. I said all along before this fight ever happened, Ryan's really got nothing for Tank, and Tank probably beats everyone in the division. I said, how do you counteract what Tank does? Right, like how do you game plan for his power? You really can't. Right, so he's gonna keep winning, but he's gotta beat Shakur, he's gotta beat Haney, right? Because those guys have done more in the sport than he has, believe it or not. I understand Tank is becoming a star in the sport outside of the sport. No one cares who he is. Let me know what y'all think. Um, 
Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Vlog uh, on all forms. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is April 23rd um, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.